ओके हाय हेलो नमस्ते इज इंग्लिश लिटरेचर द एंग्लो सेक्सन पीरियड एंड हियर प्रोड्यूसर्स ऑफ लिटरेचर वर डिवाइडेड इनटू फोर ग्रुप्स देयर सेल्स एंग्लो सेक्सन्स डेन्स एंड नॉर्मन्स सेल्स सेल्ट्स और कॉल्स कॉल्ड एज सेल्टिक पीपल वर वेरी स्ट्रांग एंड दैट वेरी रोमांटिक मिस्ट्री लविंग पीपल एंड ह्यूमरस वन एंड देयर हियर they conquered a large part of england and the uh, uh, england is divided into two part one is west and another is south the west part is called as highland south part is called as scotland highland were conquered by gales and the gales after the from the after the gales scandinavian vikings or norsemans in 9th and 10th century they were defeated by the Irish people in 1014 and uh, Irish were converted into Christianity and uh, that is uh, Christianity at the time of this uh, in Ireland Saint Patrick or writer uh, where his stats are uh, uh, Irish poet has uh, earliest he is the one earliest uh, beginner of Irish poet okay then uh, literary activities uh, later it ends by Henry Two and thousand hundred eighty-two. Though the W. B. Yeats and J. M. Singh uh, work is glorified, but still that Irish activities came to an end. And later, uh, Ireland became independent uh, in nineteen thirty-seven from English rule under the name of Ire. This Ireland was uh, was called as a uh, Ire. Okay, uh, later. Roman conquered uh, Britain. Britain, okay, Scotland. In this Scotland, Britons were conquered. That uh, Britons, uh, later it is called as a uh, Britons. Okay, Roman conquered Britain, and uh, uh, they construct the Hadrian Wall, which is help. Uh, the wall built was built to run from coast to coast, means their trades, and to stop the people to uh, come to the south. so ironically the britons were called as valish and uh, anglo saxons uh, stories it uh, begins from the beowulf so here uh, cadman you know that he is a writer uh, sneewulf so here uh, canterbury canterbury uh, tales uh, in south the greatest work and uh, it's also a place and york and jaro in north that's a place it's not a work okay here they are the centers of uh, center of christian and secular learning in 7th and 8th century okay 8th century invaders such as uh, norseman uh, from norway sweden and denmark are called as danes danes were defeated by alfred and uh, they moved uh, to north the south sorry they moved to south and uh, returned north and east of england called dane law here later this alford the king alford the king uh just want to connect one to one after after him canute come to the rule after the canute edward the confessor 1042 to 1066 so here canute what he tries he tries to connect uh, unite the saxon people and danes uh he, okay Anglo Saxon is there are two different uh, categories. Okay, next after the Harold, after the Harold William came to rule, and after the William the Norseman called as Vikings. Okay, this is a language use, a French language, a uh, French language. It's called as a language of the court, Latin. It's a learned language, English spoken by those uh, language spoken language by poor people. Here, English defeated the French after the uniting of uh, Norman and Saxon nation in 13th century. Original, uh, re- original religious writings starts to emerge as a main as a Magna Carta was signed by the King John in uh, 1215. It's the greatest ca- um, charter of uh, English literature, English liberties. Okay. Uh, there is a say that the, an uh, Englishman's house is his castle. 
So the Alfred the Great who uh, reigned over England from 871 to 1901 encouraged education and supervised the completion of the Anglo-Saxon chronicles.